Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Full Metal Otaku who plays Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're feeling a little bit crazy right now, so we're gonna go on an Eden run. Um, and since I don't know what a lot of the items in the game are, that's gonna be scary. Alright, so we've got um, the thing that makes the magical circles on the ground up here. I don't remember what it's called. It's Salt Shaker or something. Um, and we've got Bob's Rotten Head, which I throw it and it's a bomb? If I remember right? Yeah. Fuck it. Triple shot for me taking some damage is alright. Did we take a full heart of damage from that? This might be the world's fastest Eden run. Especially if that fly hits us. Off to a to a horrible start. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we don't have any bombs or anything. Shoot these poops. That half heart doesn't do anything for us because we didn't start with any red hearts. A uh, fun part of Eden runs, you don't always start with red hearts. This time we started with actually I think the lowest amount of health that we could possibly start with, which was two spirit hearts. Thankfully our shots are pretty good, and we do have um, our Salt Shaker, so if we can manage to maybe get a bomb and find our secret room and it's got some spirit hearts in it for us, or we can get a key to go into our shop and it's got a spirit heart in there for us, we should be able to live through our boss fight. And I think that's the goal right now, is uh, finding a way to... We don't have any way to do that, do we? And we have Bob's Rotten Head. Um, so we're gonna trade that our secret room's right here. And it is. And it has bombs, which gets us into our shop. No, it doesn't. Because our shop's over there. I'm an idiot. Um... Health up pill? Here's down. Are you a wizard? Alright, so we have basically lost this run. <laughs> Awesome. Good start. Good start, guys. Good start to the recording of our, our uh, first first Eden run here. Trying to shoot uh, Gridlings with Are You a Wizard? Yep. There we go. Um, you know, let's go again. You know, I... Okay, so we have... Jump. And... Something's giving us a lot of shot speed. It's one of the um, Zodiac trinkets. I'm not sure which one. Like a pro, matchstick tastes like burning. Um, uh, perfume, fear shot. Not great, but it makes our shots faster. So we've got. Horrible damage, we've got good tier delay, we have tier shot now, we have two bombs, we've got two red hearts, we have red hearts. It's really helpful. Um, and we have a spirit heart. We're thanking the Isaac Gods for a good start to our run, as far as some of that stuff's concerned. We wish our um, damage was better, but it's not like bad. I'm not going to spend this key on either of those chests yet. Though I will probably come back to it after we kill our boss, I think, is the way to do this. Just on the off chance that we decide that we don't want to because the island that we get or something. I'm not 100% sure what would happen that would be that. Cause that to be the case. Um, I don't like these guys. Go that fear shot. It would be great if we could hit him in the corner. Now we get two of them. Here's one, and we got hit. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Now get out of the way, dude. You're stopping me from hitting the dudes that are gonna actually make me able to hit you.
So there seems to be a timing, I think, with this boss. What the fuck is he doing? He's jumping all over the place, though. Like, he's gonna fire every so often, and then maybe has sometimes that he won't fire. I think if we can figure out sort of the delay between when he's going to fire, we can probably kill this guy the rest of the way without getting hit. And I think he just hit like a health break there, so he's going to fire more. Maybe not. We should be able to finish it out. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, Binky's good. That gives us another heart. Our shot speed is so good. Or not our shot speed, but our tier delay is really good. Um, I'm gonna check for the secret room that's probably right here. Fingers crossed. Nope. Uh... No, I don't want to waste the other bomb or spend the key because I want my key for my item room. And I don't think we're gonna find the secret room with our other bombs. So we're gonna save it. It's not where I thought it was the first time and I want to have at least one bomb on this floor. As well as the key for the item room. Duh. Just said that. Hey look, item room. Good to find that nice and early. Maybe a damage up would be nice. That's not a damage up, that's actually just the bad space for item, isn't it? I think. Data miner. I think that lets us break through rocks. We're gonna hold on to it for now. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, thankfully. With our tier delay so low, those guys are not a huge problem. So we're gonna hit space and. What the fuck did that do? I actually. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Because I think it just, like. I did something really weird. I have no idea. I don't know how to play with it. It might be really good, but I'm gonna, for now, assume that it's not as good as uh, Jump Book, because the the how to jump or whatever is actually really useful for us, and it'll let us get to items that we couldn't otherwise get to. Unless we had flying. Which we don't. It'll let us avoid some uh, silly damage on some other rooms too, like that. Not have to worry about those guys. Alright, the meat dudes are really annoying actually. Mostly because they're just really tanky. Here we go. I'm much more comfortable with this kind of room than I was previously. Like, a few episodes ago, if I came onto this room, I'd probably get hit, like, five times. Because... I wasn't used to those guys shooting at it. I still got hit once. It wasn't good, but, you know, it's better than five times. Five. Like... Five times. Oh, hey, look! That's... Your heart bomb back. Nice. Um, we're gonna go to our... First room, we can maybe get some guppy pieces. You're annoying. And you teleport. I'm gonna take as long as I have to to kill this guy safely. Because we're already taking um, a full heart's worth of damage on this room just for walking into it. That luck up is good. It's this one. Bombs are key. It doesn't do a whole lot. Control bomb. Don't get hit. Let's finish exploring the floor. Okay, just that. Cool. Boss time. Boss time! I don't know why my voice, why my voice did that. Words, words, words. Red letter, yellow letter. Red letter, yellow letter. 
I love scotch, scotchy scotch, scotch. Rip those down, down and down. down. Little horn. We have peered into the fire. And we have now peered as cannonball. That's an interesting effect that I've never seen before. And I'm perfectly okay with it. Get out here with that. Well, this gear shot's doing good work for us. That I can say with some amount of certainty. Um, pick up the health. Go to our devil deal. That's nice. Absolutely take Spirit of Night. Because that is flying. Which means if we find something to actually replace our space item with, that's it's gonna be excellent. Got the hiccups. Ooh. Okay, other than data miner, because I did something weird and I have no idea what it did. And it might be a really good item, but we're not taking it, because I don't feel safe with it. I feel like it would probably get me killed. Um, there's a trinket. Petrified poop. Gives us some more... Oops. More coins from our poops. Or poop coin. Poop money. I'll take that over the matchstick. Because money is potentially really good for us. Find any arcades or shops. And we're almost guaranteed to find shops at some point here. And I still really hate bonies, even though we're much better at not getting hit by them than we were like a week ago. Alright, sloth. Just get, just get feared, man. Get feared in the corner. We still do like no damage per hit. Like our, our damage is actually just like awful. Down the corner. Here we go, Book of Sinners appeared in the basement. That's uh, that's a good item. It's one that I would not mind having. We're actually gonna, I think, just go ahead and pop this. Find one of our secret rooms. Nice. I probably wouldn't have found that one, so I'm happy about that. The number of shots that it took to kill that guy is ridiculous. These mushrooms are going to take forever to kill. I mean, we've got, like, a lot of shots coming out, so it's not as bad as it would be if we had, like... Our, um, tier lay was, like, 8 or 7. We'd be in, like, a lot of pain right now. We're not, because our tier lay is, like, 4. Think of, you can think of tier delay as like how many um, frames in game it takes for one bullet to come out. So like four is, I, I think that's how it works. So four is like one every four frames. Um, Flowing milk, I think you can get it down to one, which is basically like you almost have just like a laser of bullets coming out. Brimstone, you actually have a laser coming out. But that's different. Very different. You have to charge rinse them. Doesn't stop from being one of the best items in the game. Alright, so we almost certainly check our shop. We have four keys. Um yeah, I'll take that. I'll take boomerang. I'm not sure if I should take boomerang or not, but I'm gonna take it. Maybe if I do that, he'll give me some coins, and I can maybe pick up something good. Spirit Heart. Extra health. It's not gonna be a bad thing. Our health's low, to be honest. Quite low. And Boomerang! Freeze enemies if it hits them. 
Thanks for this, guys. Not gonna be a problem for us. Um, and if we get enough money on this floor, I'm gonna go back and buy DFF because if we, like, become Gubby or something, that's gonna be really big. Yeah, like that. The ring. That guy almost ran straight into us. Other nice thing about having a really, uh, fast, really low tier delay is, um, her shots do knock the enemies back a little bit, so against stuff like those, uh, dudes, it, um, stops them from running into us when they charge into us because they get knocked back. Like these, uh, yellow flies too, like. If I didn't have as many shots coming out as I do, they could potentially cause issues. Not a whole lot. Like, the little yellow fly dudes aren't exactly tough enemies. They die in one shot most of the time, too, here, because we have 2.72 damage, which is awful. I don't like this room. So I'm gonna stand over top of the mushroom, where they can't hit me. Oh, except they can run into me. Because they can fly. Bullets can't hit me over there, but they can run. They can physically run. Okay. Oh no, why did we get hit? Why did we do that? Why did we do that? That bats. Oh, I'm angry with myself for that. I like walked into that, I dodged into it. Dodging nothing. Like, trying to make my shots and dodge into it. I do want to finish exploring the floor before we move on. We have flight. That does nothing to us. That is, um, infestation. As they grow inside. I don't remember exactly what it does. I think it spawns spiders or flies when I get hit, maybe. It's fallen! Yay! What a wonderful boss! But I don't want to fight. Oh, wonderful. So I'm still like back to going to Brimstone thing. Oh, bud. Please don't run into me. Nice. The mark's great. Infested baby's great, but I don't know if we can take it. I think we have to take it. I don't think we can not take it. But I don't think that we can take it either. <laughs> like, it's such a good item that not taking it's like, potentially even worse than taking it. But taking it puts us at some serious risk to die. Um, what are the chances that there's somehow enough coins somewhere on this floor for us to get the F out. I think it's fairly low. What was in our shop? Was it just, uh, I think we blew up the shopkeep already and it was a reroll, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. There's a chance that we could get money out of uh, this room. 
fairly small chance that we get enough, but it's, I think, worth the risk. Despite how annoying some of these enemies are. See what's on the rotation. Hematomesis does nothing. Drowsy, telepills. Teleport us out of the room. Costing us a little bit of time. We're not gonna make boss rush anyways, we're not worried about time. Speed down's not great, luck up's good. Can we get into the uh, boss trap room? Do we wanna do the boss trap room? Oh, no, it wasn't a boss trap room, that was, um, the slot fight. Never mind. Never mind! Probably should have picked up that Empress card. Oh, hey, you. You could have... ...not enough money in you to actually matter. That's okay. We tried. Maybe tried a little bit too hard. Maybe overcommitted our, uh... Precious, precious time. But that's alright. Can't win all of them. Our time's not that precious. We're sitting here making YouTube videos for crying out loud. I can't believe it's so precious. Flies are doing good work, man. Well, I'm wishing that we could have gotten uh, BFF back there. Because they'd be doing even more. Here's another uh, free entry to our secret room. Are you kidding? I hate bonies. Alright, so what is this? Little larva, the poop is moving. Yeah, we'll take petrified poop instead. I think that's better. I think so. Flying. This is so good. I wish I had flying on every one. Item run? Capricorn, all stats up. That gives us a heart. And our tier delay is two? Something's breaking the uh, tier cap. One of our items is breaking the tier cap. I don't know which one it is, but I'm perfectly happy about it. Um, You know, I think we just donate here. I think we're gonna donate, well, two cents, I guess, to future runs. Um, check the card. No. Use our main card. Check our secret room. That is a skeleton key, which gives us 99 keys. If we cared about our score, that would be excellent. We don't care about our score, so it's just all the keys that we need for the run, which is still good. Certainly nothing to complain about. How did our damage get up to 5.07? We have good damage. We Oh no, we picked up the mark on the last floor. That's why. That'll do it. I might go and pick up the um the 15 cent item that was in there, because I'm not sure what it is. Just to uh, see if it's something good. That is cartridge. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's go pick it up. See what it is. Pay to play. Money talks. It's not money is power. Money is power is a damage up for every cent that you have. Which is really good. We'll see if it affects our stats when we start getting some extra money. There's an arcade over here. Which we will certainly go into. That's not an arcade, that's a library! Book of Shadows, Book of Wild, Bookworm. We have Bookworm! We did it! So what Bookworm does is it gives you an extra, um... See, we're shooting double shots sometimes. I don't know if that's based on your luck stat or not. And I think we'll take Book of Shadows with us and just have temporary invincibility on some of the boss fights. In towards the beginning of some of the uh, floors as well. that. Um, not in that much of a hurry. We bomb through that. We get a bomb through and save this, ourselves uh, one extra room. We're walking, well, three extra, two extra rooms. Two, yes, two. Math. That's hard. Sorry, guys. Stinging is basically what I would define as a free win and not even worth the use of our uh, book there. We've done it. Do we want placebo? What's placebo do? Oh no, that's caffeine pill. Speed up, size down. We'll take a uh, speed up, sure. Yeah. That missing page. The pact. Damage up. Leviathan. We have spectral tears. Is that what that is? So we have. Two transformations completed. Not going to complain about that at all. We've got a decent chunk of health. Like we have actually a lot of health. I think I think this run is pretty much won. We're going we're going to the heart with this one, which I vastly appreciate. I didn't notice anything happening to our stats when we picked that up. But maybe I'm just dumb. So I'm not sure what pay to play is doing. That we killed one of those when it popped up is impressive because those guys have a lot of health. Our damage is really starting to pop off. Magician card. What's this pill? Tears up. Yes. Tears. Not that it actually does anything for us right now, but who knows? I don't know if that um stays in the calculations if I pick up something that uh, gives us a damage up but drops our um tear life. I don't know if the tears up that we use still stay in the uh, like the pool or whatever of our our stat totals for when that happens. I mean, obviously we can't shoot any faster than we're shooting right now at current, but if we pick up um, a triple shot or something, or quad shot, I don't know how that affects it. Um, yeah, we'll check this, absolutely. Um, Lovers does nothing for us. We'd actually rather have the Magician, which is an awful card and a horrible thing to say, but you know. That could have been any number of good cards. It wasn't. Okay. Cool. Three spiders. That's what pay-to-play did. It turned all of our, um... Second. 
we turned all of our um, key rooms into coin rooms. That's a Joker card, which takes us straight to our Devil Deal, which we're gonna use. Yes, yes. Can we get another transformation on this run? Can we become Guppy as well? Cause that'd be great. Speed's great, tier delay's great, shot speed's perfectly good, damage, okay. Range is good. We are sitting pretty, we've got spiders, we've got flies. If we get guppy, we'll have even more flies. Missing that BFF pickup. Oh man, it feels bad, but I don't think it matters. Honestly, because we do so much damage. Tower, strength card. Keep the strength card. The strength card is a um, free deal with the duffel, basically. It lets us uh, get a red heart for the room, spend it on the item that we would get out of our double deal, and then. Um, Oh shit, I thought it was gonna jump on top of me. Can you not jump through the rocks? I wonder if that's a thing with uh, this boss. I couldn't see a shadow, that's part of why I got um, confused. Obviously, his bullets can hit us perfectly fine if we stand out in the open. Dumbass. Magic Mush is damages! It moves. Holy crap, it moves fast! I might accidentally dodge into things because of how fast we're moving and get myself killed. Like that. I was just trying to clear the room too fast. We have invincibility though. We haven't even used our freaking book yet. What the crap? Me? Stop. Stop dodging into stuff, dude. You don't have to. I'm just gonna, yeah, pop this, so that you can't do what you're gonna do there. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, ooh. This damage is actually ridiculous at this point. This run is, this run is popped. Sun card, um, that gives us mapping. So we can take our way to our item room very quickly here. It's a trinket, I don't know what that is. Fishtail. Keep poop. Poop's just good. It's just good, man. Stars card, tower. Piercing shot. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh man. We don't even have to get anywhere near the stuff that we're killing. It's part of the, the fun of this. Um. Oh, yeah, why would I walk in there when I can do this? Check, check, bombs. Two of clubs doubles my Two bombs. Hierophant gives me spirit hearts. This gets us into our curse room without having to pay any life. Which gives us... Guppy? No. I shouldn't have picked that up. Um, curse the tower. When we get hit, it's gonna spawn bumps on the floor, which can hurt us. It can also hurt enemies, so it's not like entirely awful in every way. But that it can hurt us is bad. Hmm. 
We shred stuff. This is ridiculous. Go to our shop. Let's go kill these guys. We move faster than the bony shots. That's actually just ridiculous. This run's actually just ridiculous. Greed. Goodbye, Greed. Get busted. They've already got max keys, but you know. Why not hit it, right? Magician, magician, strength. Lovers. What does Slash do? Itchy, tasty? I have no idea. It might spawn flies or something. It might actually be good, but I'm gonna stick with what I know right now. Like, I don't wanna screw myself out of the W. That's for sure. Because right now it's free. Old damage. HP up. Double Dio has little brimstone and bomb. Dark bomb. Oh. See, yeah, there's the there's the bomb thing that I was talking about. We're not gonna pick up little brims. Oh, actually, shit. No, we're not. We're not. We're not doing it. We don't need it. Is part of why. Um, the dark bomb will pay out in spirit hearts. I think occasionally. Yes. Which means our health is less of an issue now. Getting hit on rooms like this actually isn't horrible for us now. As long as we have places to hide. Steven's a damage up. Modest damage up, but a damage up. A damage up by any other name. Still a damage up. Um, high Priestess. Keep the strength card. Yeah, we'll do this one. Jeez, dude. This is supposed to be a boss trap room, not a scrub trap room. Heh. <laughs> Get toasted. Um, yeah, that basically doesn't matter either way. That's a blood bank. World card, high priest, this strength. Um, so we hit space, slam into this repeatedly until it blows up. And gives us IB bag, which we don't actually want. But it could have given us blood bag, which would have been a HP up, which would have been better. I already knew what that was, why did I even touch it? Uh, uh. There he is. Those guys melt so Oh, head of the keeper. I like gold! Busted. Really? Nothing? That sucks. Nothing? Falls of Steel is extra spirit hearts. Oh, come on. We do have a uh, Curse of the Labyrinth, I think, on this floor. Curse of the Maze, that's what that is.
Uh, that up. It doesn't really matter though. We're not even gonna bother walking back for it. Come on, keep your head up, dude. We don't even really need to be picking up these consumables, but it's just like habit. And on the off chance that something good does pop up. Skull X. Normally a pretty tough boss while we hit him while he was still on the ground somehow. Put your tail up, dude. Put your tail up. Get your butt out of the ground. Toasted. Toasted like some Tostitos gold. Coming straight from the Lay's plant. A little bit of salsa with my skull legs. Now check it. That was a Teratoma. Oh, you hit me! Thankfully those didn't hit me. Because they'd make more of them. And then we'd be in trouble. Um, use that. Use that. Wheel Bomb it. Fortune. Air walk, death, moon card, high priestess. Take the moon card, use the moon card. The moon. Secret room's got bombs on it. Dust these guys, go back, pick up, air walk. <laughs> Infamy. That's what we needed, some extra damage resistance to make our, like, full health insane damage run just a little bit more ridiculous. A little bit of full frontal damage resistance. The peace day resistance. <laughs> uh. That was a pun. It was terrible. More like this coming to a store near you soon. Turtling. That is for Boros Worm. Uh, no. Sorry, bud. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to walk into him. So, I don't know if, um... I don't, I don't think that's the play here. I don't think the self-sacrifice room on our Eden run is the play. I think we just take the mom's heart kill. And head on down. Oh, I didn't pick up that spirit heart. Rip. Rip me. Down to Shoal, dude. This is our... This is our first time down in Shoal. We're experiencing the the depths, the darkest the darkest depths of hell right now, man. Thankfully, this run is insane. This is actually just insane. None of these guys are doing anything to slow us down. We've almost got max coins, we've got max keys, we've almost got max bombs, we're at like 70, but basically 
more than we'll ever need, even if we were like trying to speed run through this and bomb for all the doors, which we aren't. We're savoring the moment. We're savoring this run. Getting as much mileage out of it as physically possible. Because it won't always be like this. Two of diamonds gives us max money. Emperor card takes us straight to our boss fight. We're gonna wait on that. We're not gonna check our curse room right now, though. That, that we're not gonna do. Cricket said, damage upgrade. This is the boss fight room. We're not going there yet. We're gonna kill this Mega Maw before he can get a shot off. Death card. Yeah, why not? Dusted. Spirit Heart. Tank Man does nothing. Self Sacrifice Room does nothing. Two of diamonds also does nothing. World card gives us tells us where our secret rooms are, which is actually really nice. What does that do? What does that reroll? I actually have no idea what that would even reroll. There's nothing to reroll there. There was like a sack on the ground. Well, there's a gold key in case we didn't already have the keys. All of the keys. Bombs are key. The death card's actually better right now. It just clears the room for us. It doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. You, you. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go in this. Satan, man, this is our first time fighting uh, the one they call Satan. I win this time, but that's okay. I've seen it done, so like I know I know the strat, but this is still our first time here. Goat hopes. That this run is way too ridiculous to kill that guy that fast. Sure, why not? The devil. Oh man, well thank you guys for tuning in to our first successful Satan kill on happened on a Eve run. Or, uh, Eden Run. Eden Run, yeah. Oh, man. If you guys liked the video, please hit the hit the like button. It helps me out a ton. If you want to watch more content like this, hit the subscribe button. That helps me out even more. Uh, any of that is very appreciated. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully for another successful run like this one. Later.